pride, honor, blood and guts, and usually the Big Ten title. These are the stakes every third Saturday of November when two of college football's towering giants meet for their season-ending scuffle. In my opinion, the Ohio State-Michigan rivalry is without question the greatest tradition in all of college football. I think you can make a strong case that this might be the greatest tradition in all of American athletics. That game does go to another level. College football is a fast game, but Ohio State-Michigan is on a complete different level. The week of practice is, is vicious. I mean, everybody's on their toes. You're trying to get everything under control, and, that, and it's really hard. You don't sleep all week. The first game between Ohio State and Michigan was played back in 1897, and Michigan really dominated the early years. In fact, Ohio State won none of the first 15 games. But when the Buckeyes finally claimed victory in 1919, the rivalry was on. In 1935, the battle was moved to the last game of the season, and a Midwest border skirmish became a full-blown civil war. I was taught to hate Michigan. And and funnily enough, I, I still do. They hate Michigan, but they respect the fact that Michigan is special. And we feel the same way about Ohio State. Being a New Yorker, not from Ohio, I didn't understand that people would tear your head off if you weren't serious about this game. And believe it or not, I think the student body, the fans are more hyped than the players are. After more than 100 years of bitter hand-to-hand -hand combat, an end to the fighting is nowhere in sight a fact that suits everyone just fine.